Hello viewers, I am Rohit Kurana from Intellect Digest. In this video, I am going to give you a detailed review of the Samsung Galaxy camera. This is the first smart Android camera by Samsung. It does support inbuilt 3G but using the SIM support and it does wonderful photography. I will show you all the features one by one. Let's start with the size and form factor. This camera is about 300 grams in weight, has a 23mm wide angle zoom lens. It gives 21x optical zoom. The physical form factor is quite good as you can see it's not too small or compact but it's not too large as well you can hold it in one hand it's around 300 grams heavier than typical phones but very close to typical cameras considering the kind of performance it gives the size is not too big at the right hand side you have a rubberized grip here and this grip makes it easy to hold on the top you have a shutter key this rotating dial is for zoom in and zoom out this is the power or wake up key here at this side you have a pop up flash when you press this button it just comes out just like this comes popping out just like this so it's quite interesting it's very compact it hides under it when it is not needed at the rear you have a screen which is 4.8 inches this is LCD screen with 306 ppi it has a display resolution of 720 by 1280 pixels this is high definition display right now we are running some benchmarks we will show you the scores very soon on the left side of the camera you have this button to pop out the flash which we just showed you and below it there is a speaker mesh this is where the sound comes when you play back some video or multimedia content on this camera at the bottom you have a flap here which conceals the battery so you can simply turn it like this and it opens and when you push this thing behind the battery comes popping out right away and there is mini HDMI connector right here under the flap so you can connect it with your uh, high definition displays and there is a sim slot just here this is a micro sim where you can add a 3G sim for data connectivity and on the other side there is a micro SD card slot with which you can expand the memory unlike typical cameras which get uh, full size SD cards this is a micro SD so you can ex expand the memory of this camera by up to 64 GB it has inbuilt memory of 4 GB when you use the zoom functionality the lens comes out as soon as you start the camera using the uh, power key and you go to the camera mode the lens comes out and when you zoom to the maximum levels you will see the camera lens starts going out so this is how I'll it looks let demonstrate the zoom functionality on this camera right now I am at 1x which is the normal size from sitting here I can see that wall clock and now I'll start zooming in it so this is 2.2x 3x 6x so 11x and here we go 21x and let us try to click a picture and see whether it focuses or not and as you can see this is a picture taken at 21x I am holding the camera in my hand it's not on a tripod still the picture is quite crisp and clear as you can see you can read the text written on this picture quite easily so I would say it's not bad at all talking a little more about the camera capacity this has a 16.3 megapixel sensors which gives you up to 21x zoom with the lens that it has got it gives you high definition video recording of 1080p at 30 frames per second and you can also take high speed videos with up to 120 frames per second but the resolution will be 768 by 512 it runs android jelly bean so it will uh, give you all the functionalities of an android device let me just quickly show you the screen here when you click on the home icon it will take you to the screen and here you get all the android device uh, features this is a touch with ui so very familiar for those who have used samsung devices it has auto rotate feature so when you turn the screen the display also turns so it's quite handy when it comes to using it like an android device you can play games you can watch gallery you can use apps since this is an intelligent connected camera so what you can do is you can simply click photos you can ask dropbox or other applications to keep syncing the data and as you click and if you have a 3G SIM or Wi-Fi connectivity the photos will in real time get saved to your camera upload folders let me show you the interface closely so here you have familiar touch with UI 
there are many applications which come installed which include photo wizard which is a picture editing application you get a video editor as well inbuilt from samsung you get samsung apps you get some other messenger plus so it's quite interesting it has one more interesting and very useful feature which is optical image stabilization which is a part of many modern cameras so what it does is while you are taking a picture say you are holding the camera with one hand and there is slight shake in your hand so when you click the picture the optical image stabilization will cancel out that shake and will try to keep the pictures from going blur talking of the specification the galaxy camera is powered by a 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor has a mali 400 gpu and has 1 gb of ram so in terms of specification it's quite loaded i'll just show you the benchmark scores by n22 benchmarks and it comes out to be 9920 which is a very good score i must say it's one of the high end devices score which you see on the phones like galaxy s3 etc i'll also show you a demonstration of temple run game running on this device live here as you can see so this is quite powerful in terms of being a, a touch screen device which is loaded by android jelly bean so it gives you a large touch screen on which you can also enjoy multimedia experience like gaming so as you can see it's it does sense the motion quite well so i am really not very good at this game let me try again so it senses the touch in, inputs it senses the motion inputs very well so quite good when it comes to using it as a gaming device apart from gaming you can do social networking there is facebook app which is available on android store you can install chrome for browsing gmail youtube it also has messaging which is the inbuilt messaging using the sim card you don't have gsm voice calling but you can put a sim and start using it for messaging you can also uh, do other stuff like install whatsapp activate it using some other sim and you can start using whatsapp on this device as well so it works like a full featured android device without voice calling which is somewhat like you find on many android tablets but it has 3g so it is always connected with data now let me quickly take you through the camera functionality and show you what all camera modes or shooting modes you have and let's see how you can use it like a camera so we are in the camera mode to come to camera mode you can uh, straight away press the unlock key and press the shutter key here it will take you to the camera mode or if you want to go it through the screen you just click on the camera it will take you to the camera mode in camera mode the easiest modes is automatic so it will let the camera decide what you uh, want to click how you want to click there are quick switch between the photo mode and the video mode so you can select whether you want to take a picture or you want to take a video so i'll just take a picture here and show you So this is how quick and easy and clean it is it's quite responsive quite fast and let's get back to the modes so right now i'm using automatic mode you can click on the mode button here it is like a dial this is right now in auto mode and you have many smart modes what smart mode do is that there are many pre configured options which are a combination of the focus shutter aperture etc which will help you create particular kind of uh, picture effect say i want to use macro mode so it will adjust the lens focus range accordingly i can choose the landscape best face in best face it, it will click back to back pictures in which there are multiple people and it will stitch the different uh, pictures with the best faces of all of the people in the picture a continuous uh, mode is to shoot the moments which are quite fast and you want to capture them all best photo is Uh, something like the best face but in this case it will click multiple photos of one person and will keep the picture which it finds the best in beauty face it will try to enhance some of the uh, beauty features by removing the imperfections from the images light trace is something like a long exposure shot in a typical camera in which it will capture the light for a longer time so whenever there is the use of a tripod it will suggest you a tripod is recommended so if you want to do some extra expert level photography then you should listen to these recommendations and try to follow them so similarly there is night mode sunset mode waterfall mode panorama mode rich tone 
action freeze so there are plenty of inbuilt modes but say when you are a pro and you don't want to rely on these modes what you do then then you go to the expert mode see if you are an expert photographer and you want all the settings like f-stop aperture shutter speed etc to be controlled manually you can also do that on this camera you can select from the uh, manual mode the program auto mode automatic mode aperture priority mode shutter priority mode etc and you can select these features so let me go to the manual mode from here i can select the iso see i set it to 400 then i go to exposure f stop settings and here I can control the shutter speed so I can control most of the parameters and then take a picture in this mode so it is almost like shooting with a professional camera and while you are in expert mode it will show you what all settings you have made so on the top here you can see the ISO setting the exposure setting the f stop setting and the shutter setting so this is quite good when it comes to using it as an expert camera there is a, a video mode which does not allow you too much settings but is also quite capable so when I'm in video mode I get lesser options there is a button to pause or stop the recording so I'll just uh, pause it here and let's see what all options it gives me I'll stop it I'll go to camera mode and I'll see what all I can do with it so to access the settings in any mode you click on the settings button here on the top and you will get in the settings here so here you have camera settings in which you can select the white balance flash focus shooting mode focus area face detection photo size so you can change the photo quality from here or you can turn off the automatic contrast the metering you want it to be center weighted or equally weighted multi spot etc saturation levels OIS settings there is sharing settings in which you can uh, keep sharing the pictures while you shoot so you can use the share shot buddy shot chat on etc in general settings you will see settings like the autofocus shutter sound beep sound description guidelines review autofocus lamp power mode etc so these are all the settings that you can access let me go to the camera mode and see what all setting it offers there and while you are on the camera here you have an arrow when you click you will get all the additional options like turning off the mic changing the flash settings the timer settings you can change the resolution of the video recording so you can select between high definition full high definition or you can even shoot in very low resolution like 320 by 240 this is for sharing say you want to stream something and you want it to be smaller in size so that it can be easily stream you can use the sharing setting etc here for the videos you also get convenient features like touch to focus so I'll hold the camera and I'll touch it here and you can see it will focus on this area when I touch it on some other point it will focus on that point and this point goes out of focus so it will focus very quickly when you tap somewhere and then you just press click and it will take the picture so that's how simple it is to take a picture in a very good quality with rich focus you don't need to be a pro to capture good pictures with this camera it does a lot of things on itself you can share the pictures very easily so you will see uh, there are plenty of options to edit these pictures on the go and also the inbuilt editors the picture editor the photo editor etc video editor etc are all preloaded so I can take any picture add what all effects I want so it's quite easy and it can be done very precisely in a very fast manner so see I change the color saturation on this picture and this is how it looks now when I am okay with the uh, editing I can simply share it from right uh, here so saved it now I go back I go to this picture and here I have some sharing options in my gallery I go to photo wizard where I saved it I click here there is a share button now I can share it through Bluetooth chat on messenger Dropbox email Facebook Google Plus group chat Instagram 
name it and you have it you can install much more applications much more platforms where you want to share it and you can share the pictures video etc in real time using the Wi-Fi or 3G sim installed in this camera let me quickly walk you through some of the pictures which I have clicked with this camera and you can see for yourself how the quality comes out to be so this is quite clear and as you can see the focusing on this picture is quite sharp And this picture looks quite good on this large display and likewise in low light condition or uh, dark conditions you can click very good photos using the flash feature on this camera you can see the detailing is quite good in the pictures So all in all it is quite impressive as a camera being a very smart unit it can share pictures on the go it can do a lot of stuff which normal cameras cannot it will share stuff using Bluetooth Wi-Fi using the apps you can quickly click photos and share it on social networking Facebook's uh, Instagram and other applications where you can connect the pictures with your friends you can show them in the real time you can run some video streaming applications on this you can also use social applications you can also do video chats etc using this camera so it's quite interesting as a value proposition it's slightly heavy it is not a replacement for a DSLR let me tell you because the picture quality of a DSLR is very different it does give you very good pictures but this is more of being connected being smart and being able to do a lot more with a device then using it just as a camera as I showed you you can use applications on Android you can run games so you can also use navigation features you can stay connected with the email you can use it as a small tablet device whenever you need it you can use it for reading doing stuff other than camera applications as well so all in all it's quite interesting in my opinion it's a good device to have if you are not uh, too much on a professional side in a photography if you are an enthusiast want to experiment with some modes you can get your hands on the galaxy camera so what comes in the box with galaxy camera is the camera unit the battery which is right now placed inside you also get a charging cable which is a normal usb to micro usb cable you can also transfer pictures using this cable to your computer and you get a wall charger which is something which you get with normal Samsung phones so this is white in color quite good quite handy and you also get some quick start guides user manuals warranty manuals etc inside the box this is all itself. we have for you on a detailed review of the Samsung Galaxy camera if you like our video please press the like button just below this video for more such videos do press the subscribe button thanks for watching this is Rohit Kurana signing off